In this video, I'll show you how to solve an exponential decay problem involving first-order decay. The radioactive decay of neutrons is called a first-order decay. This means that the time required to half the amount of neutrons is constant. The question reads, if a sample of matter contains 2.15 times 10 to the power of 12 protons, and protons have a half-life of 6 times 10 to the power of 9 years, how many protons will remain in the sample after 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9 years? Use the correct number of significant figures. To answer this question correctly, we'll need to use the model above, but we'll first need to define what these letters mean. This A represents the final amount, this represents the initial amount, B will represent the number 0 0.5 because the initial mass will be decreasing by a factor of 2 each time. Our T value here represents the time it takes, and in our case, according to this question, we will replace T with 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9, and our C value represents the half-life provided in the question as 6 times 10 to the power of 9. So let's write that down. A is what we're looking for, so I'll put a question mark right there. Our initial amount contains 2.15 times 10 to the power of 12. T represents 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9. And C represents 6 times 10 to the power of 9. Now you might see these letters defined differently in other textbooks. This is just a generic model. Let's go ahead and plug these numbers in. A is equal to 2.15 times 10 to the power of 12 times 0 0.5 as discussed to the power of 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9 over 6 times 10 to the power of 9. Using our calculator, I'm going to calculate this in chunks where I'm going to find out what that is equal to. I'm going to cross out what we have here, 10 to the power of 9. So we have 0.5 to the power of 1.5 divided by 6. And I'm going to multiply this now by 2.15 times 10 to the power of 12, which gives me 1.80 times 10 to the power of 12. And of course, our units will be protons. Now, what was emphasized in the question was, use the correct number of significant figures. In our question, we had three numbers that we were using. And something that you need to keep in mind when calculating significant figures is that if you're multiplying a whole bunch of numbers, you'll end up choosing the number with the least amount of significant figures. So in our case here, this 6 has one significant figure, so our final answer should also have one significant figure. That being said, what we have to do is cut off these two numbers. But before we do that, we also need to round. Now, since this 8 is greater than 5, this number goes up. So therefore, our final answer will be 2 times 10 to the power of 12. Because by including these numbers, we are telling the reader that this calculation is more accurate than the numbers that we were provided, which is not the case. And so there you have it. That is how to solve an exponential decay problem involving first order decay. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.